26, a cancer survivor and amputee says she was told she was not eligible for the RTC's paratransit service. When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin has the RTC's response and why they say that's simply not true. From her mom, Brianna Jones is basically stuck at home. My mom is not always available. It's hard to drive. I don't have a right foot, so it's going to be hard. She lost her right leg to cancer and is in a wheelchair. In January, she had to reapply to the RTC's paratransit program. Brianna says she went through the assessment and then heard she was not eligible for the program. So we reached out to the RTC to find out why. The RTC says a third party gives the assessment and that Brianna's was not complete. For Brianna, it's a problem. I have a physical condition for the rest of my life and why, like, it's not coming out of their pocket. So why are they giving me a hard time? I don't understand. She says it would be too difficult and unsafe to travel by herself to the nearest bus stop. Her mom has a full-time job but drives Brianna whenever she can. And she's scared of her daughter using the standard bus system. Very nervous. You know, on pins and needles, knowing she's on his medications. A lot of his pain medicines cause drowsiness. There are things you can do to try and get access to paratransit. The Disability Rights Education and Defense Fund says you need to figure out what category of eligibility you're in and get the appropriate documentation, like notes from your doctor. Then make sure to take advantage of the in-person interview and assessment. If you're denied, you can appeal. And if you think the appeal was wrongfully denied, try contacting an advocacy group or lawyer. Brianna is scheduled to finish her assessment Tuesday. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. And we look